What do you think about the Tesla solar glass roof? What are you doing? Uh... She's sleeping on it. So the purpose of this video is just to get you to consider getting a quote for the Tesla solar glass roof. With the changes that they've made to the new version 3, you might just be pleasantly surprised with what you find. First, you need to understand the context of this product. Outside of people in a situation where money isn't much of an issue, this product is only going to be relevant for people considering replacing their current roof or building a new home. If you have a new-ish roof, you're most likely going to be better off with solar panels, which Tesla offers as well and more in another video. Tesla's solar glass roof is really two products. It's a high-end roof and a solar power generation solution in one. This product should never be compared in any way to a new conventional roof alone. The proper comparison is a new conventional roof on the higher end and a separate solar system. We'll get to this shortly, but it needs to be emphasized that your local energy costs will have a much stronger impact on your overall savings much more than the amount of energy generated alone. In 2017, the highest energy savings were reported in, you guessed it, New York. None of you guessed that. Second, earning solar energy credits. It's theoretically possible that you can actually earn money from installing solar and not just save it. If your system generates more electricity than your house requires, that extra electricity won't necessarily go to waste. In most states, it can be sent back to the grid, if your home's connected to it, for other local customers to use. In this case, your energy company can issue credits to your account that can be applied to your energy bill. This will vary from state to state, but it's absolutely something that should be kept in mind. Solar can indeed provide more financial return than simply zeroing out your utility bill. Combine this with the benefits of grid independence and things start to get interesting. Third and most importantly is cost. The most important factor for many people. With point one in mind, Ashley and I took the time to research and get quotes as if we were going to install solar on our home. We went through Tesla's site configurator first to get a quote. Before we watch that, let's cover the kilowatt and cost breakdown to give you reference. We're looking for a six kilowatt system as we have a small house. Six kilowatts is 6,000 watts. We do this conversion to eventually obtain cost per watt. Let's take a look and then we'll revisit this. Okay, so we're gonna go through the website and plug in our information. So we'll choose Pennsylvania, our home size. We live in a ranch. And yes, our electric bill is only about $80 a month. So that'll give us an estimated cost for a six kilowatt system, $22,089. So as you see, the federal tax credit or ITC is about $3,800, which is pretty significant. On the next screen, I'll show you what the entire uh, tax credit system is as of now and what the phase out period looks like. But it's honestly a really good time to get the government to pay for your stuff. Going back to cost per watt, we'll take the $22,089 divided by our 6,000 watt system for $3.68 per watt. Bear in mind that when Googling other provider cost per watt estimates, they'll most likely be for a solar system alone whereas this Tesla figure is a new roof and solar. Very important point as the two-in-one solar glass roof is a unique product in the marketplace. It's literally one of a kind. Here's the ITC or investment tax credit phase out for residential and commercial systems. Many states offer additional incentives for solar as pictured on the screen. When adding all of this up, this is a great way to get the government to pay for your stuff. A nice change of pace. With this in mind, we then called a few local roofing companies to get quotes. Averaging the quotes, we got 10K on the low end for the cheapest asphalt shingles. This included labor and materials. On the high end, we got quotes reaching 19K for higher end roofing materials. They wouldn't tell us what type of premium shingles on the phone, they wouldn't give actual material. To keep it simple, we're going to use a cost of 15K for a new conventional roof. 
Next, we researched the cost for a comparable 6 kilowatt solar system from a third party provider. The average cost for a system of this size in our area was $13,125. Adding this to the 15K for a new roof took us to $28,125. Interestingly enough, Tesla's solar panel system for a small to medium sized house that we were looking at would cost around $8,500. Even still, adding Tesla's quote, which was lower, for a roughly 6 kilowatt system to the conventional roof quote took us to $23,500, which is still almost $1,500 more than the comparable Tesla solar glass roof. And so a quick note about the power wall, this does not come with the quote that Tesla gives you for the solar glass roof. It's now an additional cost. So of course you can have the solar glass roof without a power wall. It'll still provide power to your home's electrical system the power wall just gives you added flexibility and more grid independence. So if the power goes out in your neighborhood, of course, you can use the free energy from the power wall via the Tesla app, or you can use the power from the power wall during peak electricity hours when electricity from the grid is more expensive. You can then tap into that free energy from the power wall. And real quick, a note on power walls, they typically cost about $7,000 to buy and install, but this number will vary significantly based on your specific situation and location. This is actually why Tesla decided to take that out of the solar glass roof quote, because it was just varying too much. So this is their way of simplifying that process. I should also mention Tesla does offer financing for the solar glass roof. I'd venture to guess you could find a lower interest rate elsewhere, but the option is there. And don't misconstrue this as advice to rush out and finance a new solar glass roof, but if you're already forced into a situation of needing to finance a new roof, it may not be a terrible long-term investment to increase your monthly payment a bit to buy an asset that will actually provide a tangible ROI. And speaking of return on investments... Fourth the ROI debate. What is ROI? The ROI debate. Man, let me tell you something. You want to get a comment section fired up? Just mention ROI on any Tesla product, really, and you'll have people very heated debating their points. If you've seen my other videos, you know I reply to every comment. And as much as I enjoy this, I'm gonna make a wise decision here and speak from a high level. As mentioned previously, any one individual's return on investment will vary greatly. If you don't believe me, take a look at the variation in energy costs from one state to another. To reiterate, this factor will have the greatest impact on your return on investment. And yes, even more than the sheer energy production or efficiency of your solar system. But here's the rub. Too many people argue as if a conventional roof has any ROI. A regular roof rarely actually adds value to a home. The only time it can really affect the value is on the downside when it very clearly needs to be replaced. Potential home buyers just expect the roof to be in good shape and will very rarely attribute additional value to a roof that is in good shape. I know a bit about this as I've had my real estate license for the past three years. The discussion shouldn't only be focused on what the ROI is, but that there is one at all. A solar glass roof is literally an asset, something that will indeed keep money in your pocket and perhaps put money back into your pocket that wouldn't be there otherwise. Whether it takes 10 years or 25 years to pay off your solar glass investment is not as important as the fact that it will provide a tangible ROI, whereas this can't be said for a conventional roof. The last thing I will say is if you live in a state where energy costs are high and you have a fairly sunny climate year round, you may be surprised at how fast you can recoup your investment. If you're like us in a cold, snowy, and wet climate more than half the year, you can still earn energy credits in the summer to be used toward the winter months. Fifth is two parts, location, flexibility, and new product features. The point I want to emphasize here is that us Northeasterners should not be sleeping on this product. First, having solar on your home can increase the value of your home significantly. Take a look at the study that was done. 
The top two states where solar systems added the most value to homes were Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Also, if you look at the chart, you'll see a list of the states where electricity was the most expensive in 2019. Notice seven of them are northeastern states, which means these states have a much higher potential for energy savings and thus potential ROI. So yes, living in a cloudy climate can result in lower energy produced, but this can quickly be made up by saving more on higher energy costs. And yes, the Tesla solar glass roof can and does generate power through the clouds. As the Tesla employee mentioned, the V3 tiles are touted to generate power with up to two feet of snow on them. Don't shoot the messenger. I was also told that snow will indeed fall off these tiles with much less resistance than most traditional roofs, which means less weight bearing down on your house, all else constant. And if your roof happens to face south, it'll slide off even faster. It should also be mentioned that many HOAs do not allow solar panels at all, so a solar glass roof may be your only option if you're limited by your HOA rules. Moving into product features, let's go rapid fire for V3 upgrades. A sleek modern design, customized plans working with Tesla engineers to determine which cells should be photovoltaic and which shouldn't based on your home's orientation, increased energy density, a lower cost, easier to manufacture, there are bigger individual tile sizes to reduce installation complexity, they're made of different materials, and currently there's only one style being offered, but there are plans to add other styles late 2020. Changing the appearance now so that they all look the same no matter the viewing angle, and there's also no more cutting of the edge tiles on site, which will drastically reduce installation times and issues. The new tiles are 45 inches long and 15 inches wide. They have a 25-year warranty for all three aspects, tile, power generation, and weatherization. They're rated to withstand up to 1.75 inch diameter hail and 110 mile an hour winds. They should be incredibly durable. And what about glass tiles? So. And now would be the time to enter all of your Cybertruck glass fail comments below. So look. Even if they're not kettlebell proof, they should be significantly stronger than most other materials. Tesla is going to open up installations to traditional roofing companies to continually improve the installation process. This will increase the installation capabilities but could also result in quality issues if not monitored and controlled properly. Tesla does have contests like Hacker Wars to see which companies can install the V3 tiles the fastest. It's pretty cool. The goal for Tesla is to install an entire system in one day, or roughly eight hours. So far, the few V3 solar roofs that have been installed have taken anywhere from 7 to 21 days, which is exactly the timeline outlined in the purchase contract. The contract also states installation should start anywhere from two weeks to six months from purchase date. Of course, that's not great, but more than likely it's Tesla allowing itself a cushion to avoid legal issues. You're required to pay $100 at the time of purchase, with 50% of the total cost due when the install begins, and the remaining 50% within 5 days of final inspection. These solar tile cells are to be made at the controversial Gigafactory in New York, where Tesla may be hosting a company talk in April and we might finally get a recent look inside the factory. If you missed it, it was just announced this week that Tesla and Panasonic are ending their partnership at Giga New York for the production of these solar cells. It's rumored that Tesla was not purchasing enough cells from Panasonic and the relationship had been rocky as of late. This shouldn't have any immediate effect on their partnership at Giga Nevada.